the all-new 2011 100% electric Nissan LEAF right here at Ken Garth Nissan of Orem the only dealership in the state no of Utah to have no the LEAF you've probably heard about it I'm gonna do a little walk around and tell you a little bit more about it but this car is cool this is where the charging port is you have a smaller charging port along with a bigger what I like to call the flux capacitator charger. You have to wait till lightning hits, but it'll charge it real quick. No, it's actually got a, this is for future charging stations. It'll be able to charge this in 20 minutes. Um, as of right now, we have this standard charger. This is called the trickle charger. The trickle charger's right here, charging the vehicle on just a normal 110 outlet. Um, this is pretty slow. Uh, because it's a trickle charger so about from zero to hundred percent is gonna be about 16 hours uh, but keep in mind most of the time you're gonna be charging from probably 50 percent to hundred uh, because the range of this car is hundred miles um, and 95 percent of Americans commute less than hundred miles a day so you realistically be going from 50 percent to hundred percent which means on a trickle charger that would be about eight hours which seems kind of crazy other than you get wired for our 220 charger, and our 220 charger uses this same hookup right here, and then charges from zero to 100% in eight hours. Now, if you're at 50% to 100, it's gonna be roughly four hours. Plug it in when you come home from work, while you're sleeping, you'll come back up and the car will be charged. Now, right up here, you can kinda of see it's cool. It's got three lights, and it's just like kinda of your cell phone battery. Two of them are full, one's flashing, which means that it's basically two-thirds full with the last third still charging, blinking. When it's fully charged, they'll all be fully lit. And then the car will stop charging on its own, which is pretty cool. Just to show you the inside real quick of the motor, the, uh, well, if you can call it an electric motor, I guess. What's cool about this car is it has no transmission. An electric motor, uh, RPMs aren't limited by slapping pistons and cramshafts and stuff like that. It's just spinning. It could go up it's to as high as 20,000 RPM because it's an electric motor. So no transmission, no oil in this car. Um, and this is the electric motor. As you can see, this is uh, a complete change in the way we know cars. Uh, yes, very interesting. The batteries for this car are actually under the seats of the uh, front and uh, rear of the car, so you're basically sitting on the batteries. Um, the design of these lights is actually comes out quite a bit. I don't know if you can tell, maybe get a better angle here. You can see how it protrudes quite a bit. What that does is takes the air and deflects it around the rear view mirror to create a lower coefficient of drag, which is then in turn obviously going to get you better fuel economy. This car is all about efficiency. Obviously, it doesn't have a lot of uh, energy to waste. Um, has the standard Nissan touch button, lock and unlock, okay? The uh, seats are made of 100% recyclable uh, bottles. Bottled water, you've probably contributed to making this car. They take bottled water, recycle it into this fabric, uh, so that makes it pretty, pretty cool. Um, plenty of room, it's about, uh, about the size of a uh, Nissan Sentra or a Nissan Versa, or a Honda Civic, or a Toyota Corolla, or a Toyota, what's that P word? I think it's, I won't even say that word. It's kind of like saying it's the team from up north. It's the P word. Um, it has all the standard features that you love. You know, touch button control on the steering wheel with the Bluetooth, with the radio, with the XM, with the navigation, with the cruise control all your computers uh, there's also the, the whole computer system this actually has a cell phone chip in it um, so that it can communicate with your cell phone because it has what we call a, a Nissan Leaf app um, where you can control the climate from afar check your charging status start your charge stop your charge um, which is actually quite cool so you could you know set the climate control to what you want start it and by the time you come out it's going to be at that temperature um, and if it's hooked up to your charger, it doesn't take any energy because it's just pulling off the energy from your, your house. Um, you got to get it hooked up in your garage. A 220 is the way to do it. Um, we can help you with that. Now, this car is not available right now. 
Um, but we do have it. We're here to we're, we're here to get interest going on it. I've been driving it back and forth. I live about 34 miles away from work. I've been commuting back and forth. I got to tell you, it is a hoot to drive. You drive this car, it's dead quiet. It's just the strangest thing. But you would never know based on the power. We can even get the wheels to spin because it gets instant torque. Again, no transmission, no pistons to start swinging. Instant torque, and these things just start chirping. It's really, really cool. Uh, in the back, we have a rear view camera. When you put it in reverse, you're gonna be able to see where you're going in the back. Um, and it also has a beeping sound when you're going backwards because otherwise you're not gonna be able to hear it. Um, if we open the back, you can see here, it has really good storage uh, underneath. Um, you can take that out and even have more room, but those are little uh, cargo compartment to keep yourself organized. Um, this is what comes, you put the, uh, the trickle charger in there. I've got it out there charging right now. I don't have a 220 charger right now. I've just been using the trickle charger and I charge it when I get here and I charge it at night and I've, you know, never had a problem even with just the trickle charger and I'm com commuting about 70 miles a day. Um, you can compare that to say you know, how much I'd spend in fuel for 70 miles a day. Well, I'm sure you could do the math on your own personal experience. But basically, at Utah power rates, you know, you're about 350 for a gallon of gas right now. If you are equivalent, then the cost of charging this is about six cents a gallon. Uh, now, of course, this doesn't have gallons, but they do it in kilowatt per hours, and it all comes out to about six cents a gallon. So you can imagine the gas savings. My wife has a bunch of carpools, she drives about 300, or she spends about $320 a month in gas, and with this, she's gonna spend next to nothing. So you talk about savings. Now up top here, this is really cool, this is a solar panel. So right now it's actually helped charge the battery. Um, any little bit helps, and by the way, that emits zero emissions. This is the antenna for the XM and the, and the radio. Um, and some might say, hey, well, it's, you know, it's not zero emissions because the power it generates at the power plant is creating CO2 in the, in the atmosphere. Well, it depends on how you're powering it, right? If you're powering it through hydroelectric, solar, uh, you know, any uh, wind, um, then it's really zero carbon footprint with the, the idea that, you know, you're, you're using renewable energy. Uh, the other fun part is... Um, even if you take the worst, say a coal burning power plant, uh, after the research shows that it's still five times less CO2 emissions than a, say a truck like this, um, and how much fuel that burns. So even if you're talking coal, coal burning power plant, it's five times less than CO2 emissions, which is pretty cool. Um, I gotta tell you, this is revolutionary. This car is changing the world. There's no doubt in my mind. Again, no transmission. A cool computer that I've shown a little bit on another video that you can go ahead and watch. Um, very roomy, um, and 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 it, and again, it, it, it's one of those deals where it's like a no-brainer almost. It's like you buy this car, you never have to go to the gas station anymore. You never have to go to the gas station. Imagine that. Uh, and and the fact if gas prices go up, you don't feel that pinch at all. And uh, the amount of money that you save in gas alone will pay for this car because you get a $7,500 tax credit from the United States government. $7,500. Wow. That's a lot of savings that you get from the government. Zero emission, 2011 Nissan Leaf only at Kim Garth Nissan of Orem. Check us out at nissanoforum.com and we'll have some more videos about driving this car and the inside and stuff. I'm telling you, this is the car of the future.